Do you think an AI system will win a Nobel Prize in this century? What do you think? (laughs) And does Um, that make you sad? If I can digress and put in a plug for my next book, it has a chapter saying why Nobel Prizes do more harm than good. Yes. Uh, So (laughs) on a quite separate subject, I I think uh, Nobel Prizes do a great deal of damage to the perception of the way science is done. Of course, if you ask who or what deserves the credit for any scientific discovery, it may be often someone who has an idea, a team of people who work a big experiment, etc. Yes. Um, and of course, uh, it's the quality of the equipment which is um, crucial. And certainly in the subjects I do in astronomy, um, the ad- huge advances we've had uh, come not from us being more intelligent than Aristotle was, but through us having far, far better uh, data um, from powerful telescopes on the ground and in space. And also, incidentally, uh, we've benefited hugely in astronomy uh, from um, uh, computer simulations because um, if you are uh, a a subatomic physicist, then, of course, you crash together the particles in the big accelerator like the one at CERN and see what happens. But um, I can't crash together two galaxies or two stars and see what happens. But in the virtual world of a computer, one can do simulations like that. And the power of computers is such that these simulations uh, can um, yield um, a phenomena and insights which we wouldn't have guessed beforehand. And the way we can feel we're making progress in trying to understand some of these phenomena, why galaxies have the size and shape they do and all that, is because we can do simulations um, tweaking different initial conditions and seeing which gives the best fit to what we actually observe. And so that's a way in which we've made progress in using uh, computers. And incidentally, uh, we also now need them to analyze data because one thinks of astronomy as being traditionally a rather data-poor subject. But the um, European satellite called Gaia has just put online the um, speeds and colors and properties of nearly two billion stars in the Milky Way, mm-hmm. and which you can do <laughs> fantastic analyses of. And that, of course, could not be done at all without just the number crunching capacities of computers.